The gaming industry is about to be turned upside down by the sheer will of the new Playbox. It's lightweight, it's sleek, and best of all, you don't need to pay $3.99 just to get your hands on one. This is all you need in gaming. You know, if all you need are HTML5 games. Hey everyone, I'm a software engineer, and I like to code a lot. I also like to game, and sometimes I find myself struggling with balancing the two. And I'm constantly trying to figure out how I can combine the two. What could I possibly do to combine gaming and coding? So I came to the logical conclusion of making a game console. So here's the thing, I'm just not very good at making games. I've tried, okay? I made a game a while ago. It used to be on the Play Store, but Google took it off probably because it was so bad. So the only place you can find it is on the Amazon App Store. I'm not saying I'm better at making UI, I'm not. Just had to choose between being creative or ripping my hair out. So I chose to make a game console UI thing. Let's get started. So I started out by writing some requirements for this project. If I don't write any goals, then I end up never finishing the project. So after some discussion with my inner self about the name, I chose to go with Playbox. The name had the X factor. The name rose above its station. I was trying to make a little subtle joke about why I chose the name Playbox. I just took the first part of PlayStation and the last part of Xbox. But I just realized I could have actually called it the X Station, which would have sounded way cooler, but whatever. So after settling for Playbox, I decided to make sure the console had the following features. It had to look like a game console UI. You had to be able to play games from this UI, whether it be web-based or something like that. And it had to have gamepad support. After I came up with my three very simple requirements, I typed in the handy ng-new command and npm installed the heck out of Bootstrap. I was on a roll. I got the basic setup of the project and I realized it was like 11.30 at night. I had work at 6 in the morning and I was just mindlessly scrolling through the color documentation on the Bootstrap website. So, um, uh, yeah, good night. Alright, that was a good sleep. So I needed a way for the user to play games using this UI, and I wanted so bad to make it so there were embedded games, but then I realized I was just making a game with extra steps, and I wasn't about to be tricked into becoming a game developer, alright. So I just looked up HTML5 games, made a nifty little activity interface to hold some data like the image and URL, played a couple rounds of narrow one, made a component to display a tile for the games, and BOOM! I made a hyperlink to a webpage. Looking at the console now, there are definitely things I didn't get to finish. Like a store where you could install games and a recently played games in the home tab. But what took up the most time in this whole project is the navigation. Right now I can only click around, but the game console doesn't have a mouse input by default. So I decided to hold off for a second on the gamepad input and use the arrow keys and the spacebar. You have to be able to navigate this UI using arrow keys and click on things using the spacebar. I created a directive to place my buttons and I stared at that directive for a pretty good while. I was stuck for like two seconds and decided to ask ChatGPT what to do. And that's when I discovered the host listener decorator. Hey, you can use this thing to like listen for stuff on the host. Okay, actually it's a decorator that lets you essentially bind a function to a DOM event. So if I press a key on my keyboard, this function is going to fire. After a couple of hours of moving stuff around and inspecting the elements to find where certain buttons were placed, I finally found a way to have my arrow keys move the focus around. I even added a fancy little scale animation when my cursor is focused on one of the tiles. I added sound effects too so that a sound played whenever I clicked on something and moved around the page. Yeah, pretty cool. It's finally time to turn this website into a game console. I connected my Xbox controller, checked to see if it worked, found out my controller has stick drift, and started coding. First, I created a directive to listen for when the gamepad connected and disconnected. I then made a service that converted the gamepad input into observable so I could subscribe to my gamepad's input. I mapped those inputs to a move focus function I created. And ladies and gentlemen, here you go. A working game console in Angular. So, uh... I'm gonna go play some more narrow one now. Hey you guys, thanks for sticking to the end of this video. Let me know what other projects I should work on. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Thanks for watching.